the Raya Lucaria Academy is a magical place filled with treasure. If you found this huge magical gate, well, you're standing right in front of it, but before you can enter it, you first need to get your hands on a Glintstone Academy key. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get inside the Raya Lucaria Academy, how to get your hands on the very first Glintstone key. But once inside, we're also gonna hunt for some pretty epic treasure. If you like crossbows, well, this video is for you because we will find one inside. We're also gonna hunt for the second Glintstone key, which we are not really gonna need. But if you give this one to an NPC, you can actually unlock some pretty epic spells, including an Ash of War to deflect magic. So guys, let's get right to it. For the people who have absolutely no clue what these glintstone keys are for, basically if you travel to Leonia of the Lakes, in particular the South Raya Lucaria Gate, right there you will find a huge blue gate which you can only get through if you have one of those glintstone keys. So let's check out the first location. For the first glintstone key which we're gonna need to enter the Raya Lucaria Academy, you're gonna travel to the western side of Leonia of the Lakes which is pretty close to uh, the academy itself. It's called the Temple Quarter Side of Grace. From this quick travel point, you wanna head to the north and only a couple clicks away from it, you should be able to find the sleeping glintstone dragon, Smarek. This is a pretty epic boss fight and I definitely recommend you to use the environment to your advantage to dodge his flames pretty much. But after you've beaten him, you will of course get a dragon heart but also the academy glintstone key, six kukris and the dragon wound grease can be found off the corpses which are pretty much lying behind him against the rocks. Once you got your hands on the first glintstone key, it is time to travel back to the South Raya Lucaria gate and enter the academy. Right now, we're gonna search for the second key, which is a little bit more difficult to get your hands on. It will take some time, just progress your way through the Rylucaria Academy. At a certain point, you will have to fight a boss, and after you've done that, you will unlock the debate parlor side of Grace. After you exit the boss room, you will find a huge courtyard. On the right side, you will see a ball rolling down, but you want to go to the left. And from here, you can pretty much reach the rooftops of the Rylucaria Academy. On the rooftops you will find different foes, for example those skeletons with multiple bows, but also the reapers which I think are very annoying, and also a coster. I definitely recommend you to use your bow right here because it will make it so much easier to take down the targets one by one and of course also not get knocked off the roofs or actually fall down when rolling. After you've done that, I definitely recommend you to check out every single rooftop because there is a lot of treasure scattered around these parts. One of them is the full moon crossbow. If you're interested in crossbows, well, this one is gonna be pretty epic to get your hands on. Basically, it can be found in the tower, which you can see right in front of you. If you climb this one all the way to the top with the ladder, you will find the full moon crossbow inside a chest. We'll be waiting for you right there, so enjoy! But back to the second Academy Glintstone key, for this one you'll want to reach the biggest roof, pretty much of the church I'd say. At the very top of it you will find some windows which are always open and if you go through those you will find those huge wooden beams. And if you walk across those you can actually reach more corpses, one of them has some golden runes. But if you jump down on one of the chandeliers right here you will have a corpse and on it you will find the Academy Glintstone key. Okay, so now that you have your second glintstone key, which you're probably never gonna use, you wanna bring this one to a guy in the southern part of Leonia of the Lakes. The lake facing cliffs side of grace is without doubt the fastest quick travel because this one is very close to the church of Irith. Right here you will find a sorcerer NPC who is basically a shop for new spells, but he is also a student to the Raya Lucaria Academy and if you give him one of your glintstone academy keys, he will basically get back to the place Unfortunately, well, something bad happens right there apparently and he dies. The funny thing is, you can kill him and it will give you 500 runes, the Thob's Bell Bearing, which we can use in, of course, the round table hold to get his shop right there, and also the Academy Glintstone stuff, but if you actually loot the body inside the Raya Lucaria Academy, he will give you the Thob Bell Bearing, the Academy Glintstone stuff, but also the Thob's Barrier. So after you've given him the glintstone key, what you're gonna do next is travel back to the Raya Lucaria Academy to the schoolhouse classroom. From here you wanna walk outside and go to the right and there you will find Thops dead on a chair. If you loot his body, it will also give you the Thops Bell Bearing, Academy Glintstone stuff, but also Thops Barrier, which is a spell you can use to deflect other spells, which I think is really nice to get your hands on if you like to counter some magic. 
after you've looted the corpse. I definitely recommend you to travel back to the church of Aerith Bay to visit because right now you can actually find a teardrop scarab right there. If you slay it, you will be awarded with the Ashes of War Thob's Barrier. This one can be used on small and medium shields. It allows you to also deflect spells using the parry on the shield, which I think is really nice. Alright fellow Tarnished, that is pretty much everything you need to know about these glintstone keys, how you can get your hands on them. Of course also enter the academy and find some epic treasure. I think the magic deflection is very awesome to get your hands on. Definitely make sure to hit that like button if this video was helpful. Of course if you're new to the channel, helps me out big time to subscribe and of course you won't miss out on future content. Right now though it is 4am out. If you have questions or suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care. Peace.